My grandchildren are up there in the room, giving the parents a rough time. <laughs> it's life, yeah? It's quite funny. One of the important factors are when you are hosting someone that you do have an itinerary. They don't just say, what should we do today? You have a list of things that are possible. You've got to make it feel like it just flows. But really, behind the scenes, I'm doing a lot of work to make their holiday the best I can. Let's go on today's journey here. Yeah. So as I walk around this garden, I'm going to give you a quick glance at some of the things we get up to today. We're going to meet some interesting people. One of the people we're going to meet is a guy called Dr. Sue. Okay, I've known him for many, many years now. Um, he was my student studying business English. He done particularly well. We, we got to know each other over a period of about uh, really? three years. Um, he had some work to do. He's a neurologist and he had to go to Italy and he, he had to improve on his English. That worked out really well. Really wonderful chap. I also taught his uh, children in kindergarten. They're a little bit older now and we're going to have lunch with them today. So that's good. I've met a lot of Chinese uh, people's families as I've been here in my 17 years and it's about time they met my family. There are in fact too many families that want to meet my family. It all depends how many we can squeeze in. So that's good. I'm looking forward to that. Um, also, we're going to have uh, another, we're going to meet up with a woman by the name of Susan and her children. They're great. They're great fun. I'm currently teaching them at the moment and I did show you her apartment in the last video. Yes, it was hers. And this couple live in the first complex that I did videos about. So some of you who wrote comments and said, I bet those people who own that apartment in the relevantly rubbish complex, which turns out to be quite good from your com comments. Yes, they own that and they just use that as an art teaching center. Um, wonderful person, we had a great time there. And now we're gonna move on and uh, have lunch at the Cafe de Corral. The first time I ever found the Cafe Corral restaurant was when I was with a chap here by the name of Barry. Do you remember that Barry? In a place called Dali, about, uh, again, about three miles from Guangzhou. Um, yeah, and they do lovely food. Let's take a look at what it's like inside. <laughs> Cafe de Corral. De Corral de Cafe. So we have Fred drinking, is lemonade. it lemonade or water? Two fizzy okay. lemonade. And Fred's got yeah. some Sorry, chicken, and Michael's, and Michael's got his <laughs> arms crossed, eating away. <laughs> Mummy is, well she's just happy eating. Mm. And Daddy's feeding everyone. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And of course, we're going to go on to public transport, as I showed you earlier, the bus stop, the bus station, and uh, the bus cars that we need to make those journeys. I don't have a car. I could hire a car. No point. Absolutely no point. Let's go. Here's another thing that concerns me. This walkway here got across this area here to get to the footpath cars coming in turning left and right to park up e-bikes doing crazy speeds Ew. <laughs> they've got their deliveries to make there was a comment said oh you shouldn't use your phone when you're on your e-bike every delivery guy has a phone attached to his handlebars i've never seen anyone arrested or pulled up for doing that so um yeah, in the bin with that comment. Thanks, mate. Well, let's get back into the video and see how the family are doing. I hope you're still with me. Don't sign off, don't go elsewhere. If you're liking the content so far, please give it a thumbs up. Write a comment, either now or at the end of the video, your choice. But please, 
subscribe. I'm putting out a lot of videos. I'm not making excuses, but I am putting out a lot of videos of the truth about China. I'm not a grey low 60. I'm not going to drink beer. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a Lee Barrett uh, from the Barrett channel. I'm not going to do stuff, tech stuff about uh, about Huawei, etc. Although I would like to be sponsored by someone. I'm just showing you what it's like living in China and the people you meet. <laughs> the girls come back to say hi to get in the video. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Wonderful people. They don't speak a word of English, I'm sure. If I offered my services, they would have English lessons. Their parents would be happily uh, pay several hundred uh, an hour RMB to have that. But uh, I'm not going to. I'm otherwise occupied at the moment these days. Now let's take a look at the bus station. Bus station, bus stop. We're going to be using the buses quite regular, quite a lot. And the reason we're going to use the buses is because they're very, very convenient. They're also cheap. 20 pence a journey from one stop or to the entire length, which could be up to 36 stops away. That's several miles. The same price for every bus. And you use a bus card. So I've got them all, each a bus card. I use one on a regular basis. I bought them, got them one each. Five pounds to buy, 50 RMB to buy a bus card. And then you just top it up as and when you need it. Put 10 pound on, it will probably last 60 days. So ample on there for them to use that. And this is one of the bus stations. They have small roofs. Don't protect me from the sun or the rain. <laughs> Just a formality. I'll show you some of the buses. Here we go. So at this bus stop, we've got several uh, 10, 31, 35, 36, and 203. They all go to different destinations, except for 10 and 31. We need to get off about here, directly where the camera's looking. And both the buses go to that station, 10 and 31. 10 is direct. Don't know why I'm telling you all this. 10 is the bus we're going to be using on a regular basis. And that's where we're coming from. There are apps on the phone. I think they're in every country now. You tell me if they're in your country. There are apps on the phone that you can use to track the bus to see how long you've got to wait. This is a busy road. Uh, we're also going to go to the Great Wall of Jiaoqing. So now I'm at the old city wall. I'm going to take Stacy, Martin, Fred and Michael around this place. Just a, a short journey around this to show them what it's like. On the inside, there's the old city. It's actually quite spectacular. The old wall. This part of the wall is the tallest part of the wall in the entire city. I'm going to take you around this by using my bike and then we're going to take a wander inside with the family.
<laughs> is it? Is it hot? Yeah. Yeah. Tong tong tong. <laughs> faster, faster. It's been a bit of a trek actually. It's not particularly hard for any adult to get here, but a one-year-old and a three-year-old, oh, a little painful at times, stressful, as he has his drink of water. Today we're also going to go to a park, um, a park and a garden like this, and have some fun with the kids. We're also going to go to an amusement park as well, where the kids can enjoy themselves later. So one of the other things I want to mention is my daughter and her family are they came here with some cash. Now, how do you get by? They can't use WeChat payment on their phones because one, they don't have Chinese numbers, they don't have Chinese bank accounts, they don't have their passport registered on their phone. There are two types of WeChat. WeChat well, WeChat has two functions. One, those that are living in China and have registered all their details with the authorities and those that have got WeChat outside China and can't use the financial apps on them quite good really I like that so if they want to pay for things they have to pay by cash or I pay for it and they square me up later so with that I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching thank you very much for tuning into this video I hope you stayed from the start to the finish that would be nice and give it a, a thumbs up now you're at that point do you write a comment or do you just go on to the next video please write a comment tell me what you think of China and also whether or not you've been to China. That I would like to know if you're from another country. If you're Chinese, then uh, <sighs> thank you very much for watching. Take care. I'm sure we're gonna visit this place many more times. I visit this about once a month when I'm on my own. My family have been here three times already in five days. Unbelievable. Take care, all the best. Bye bye. Okay, so let's finish with this tune. Another sunrise, another sunset. We all be. I love it. I think it's great. Sausages. <laughs>